welcome. In this video, we will be evaluating the indefinite integral you see in front of you using computer algebra systems. So uh, we're going to use two different ones, namely some web-based ones, GeoGebra and Wolfram Alpha, that you can access. So the first thing you want to do is open a web browser and go to geogebra.org. And then in a separate tab, you can open up wolframalpha.com. And let's start with GeoGebra here. You're going, to, you're going to want to click here and go into CAS. You can also access CAS by going into GeoGebra Classic and selecting CAS. And then once that you are in ca the CAS calculator, you can type in integral x times x squared minus 7, and this is to the ninth power. And that will work out a nice integral for you. Use some caution here. If you type in integral x parentheses x squared minus 7, then and up here go to the ninth power, it will actually for some reason move the exponent to the exterior of both of them. So I often avoid using just the straight cast calculator in favor of the one found in GeoGebra Classic. Um, anywho, here is the integral, uh, or excuse me, here's what this indefinite integral evaluates to. Really quickly though, let's go into GeoGebra Classic now. So I can show you how to access the cast. It's a little easier to work with. When you open up GeoGebra Classic, often you'll have a menu that pops up with options. If it doesn't, click on these triple bars and go here to View and check Cast, and then you can get rid of Algebra and Graphics. We don't need either of those. And then I can just type in x times x squared minus 7 to the ninth power. And it looks like nothing has happened. So if I just click on it again and type in or click on that integral symbol, it gives me my integral. So as you can see, this one's a lot cleaner. So I really do prefer accessing the cast by going first into classic and then through the menu to get to the GeoGebra classic computer algebra system. Um, you can absolutely use the standard GeoGebra cast calculator. You just have to be very careful with how you enter your functions and double check that they got entered properly beforehand. Otherwise, you could end up with the wrong integral. Okay, so that said, let's use Wolfram Alpha now. And in Wolfram Alpha, you want to type in integral. And then here, we're going to type in x times, and I did shift 8 on my keyboard to get that asterisk. Now, x times, open parentheses, x squared minus 7. And if you notice, I'm leaving spaces. Wolfram Alpha can totally handle those spaces, so have at it with the spaces. And then the exponent is going to be to the ninth power, and then I will type in dx. And it looks like it got the same value that we got through GeoGebra here. And if, if you notice scrolling down, you get alternate forms of the integral and expanded versions and all sorts of other things going along with this. Anywho, no matter which one you decide to use, these all work fairly well as long as you're cautious about how you input your values um, into the computer algebra system. I hope this video has been helpful.